हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू क्लास एथ साइंस एग्जांपल सम्स ऑन टेक्स्ट बुक पेज नंबर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन इफ द रिफ्लेक्टेड रे मेक्स एन एंगल ऑफ सिक्सटी डिग्री विद द नॉर्मल व्हाट एंगल मस्ट द इंसिडेंट रे मेक विद द नॉर्मल वॉट इज गिवन इन क्वेश्चन यू आउट राइट एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन स्क्वर टू एंगल आर स्क्वर टू सिक्सटी डिग्री यू आउट फाइंड एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस दैट इज एंगल आई According to the law of reflection, the formula will be angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. But the reflected ray of an angle is given 60 degree. Angle of incidence also is 60 degree. Therefore, angle I is equal to 60 degree. The incident ray will make an angle of 60 degree with the normal. If the angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray is 90 degree. What are the values of the angle of incidence and angle of reflection? Angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray is 90 degree means sum of angle of incidence and angle of reflection is equal to 90 degree. You have to find the value of angle of incidence and angle of reflection. According to the law of reflection, the formula will be angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. You have to substitute the value of angle of reflection. That is angle R is equal to angle I. After substituting the value of angle R is equal to angle I, next step will become angle I plus angle I is equal to 90 degree. You have to add angle I plus angle I. That is two angle I is equal to 90 degree. After that, you have to divide 90 by two if you are finding angle of incidence. After dividing 90 by two, the answer is 45. therefore angle of incidence is equal to 45 degree if angle of incidence is equal to 45 degree angle of reflection also will be 45 degree angle of incidence and reflection are 45 degree you have to add angle i plus angle i that is two angle i is equal to 90 degree after that you have to divide 90 by 2 if you are finding angle of incidence after dividing 90 by 2 the answer is 45 Therefore, angle of incidence is equal to 45 degree. If angle of incidence is equal to 45 degree, angle of reflection also will be 45 degree. Angle of incidence and reflection are 45 degree. The angle between the plane mirror and incident ray is 35 degree. What is the angle of incidence and angle of reflection? Of this sum, you have to refer to the figure 16.2 on textbook page number 111. What is given in Figure 16.2? You have right. In Figure 16.2, line PQ is equal to mirror, ray OH is equal to incident ray, line OHN is equal to normal, ray OB is equal to reflected ray. Angle POH is the plane mirror. Angle POH is given 35 degree. Angle AHN is the angle of incidence. Angle PON is 90 degree. Angle P O H plus angle A O N is equal to angle P O N. Angle P O H is 35 degree plus angle A O N is equal to angle P O N is 90 degree. You have to find angle A O N that is angle of incidence by subtracting 90 degree minus 35 degree. If an equation is addition, it becomes subtraction. If you are shifting 35 degree on the right side, after subtracting 90 degree minus 35 degree, the answer is 55 degree. Thus, the angle of incidence angle A O N is equal to angle I is equal to 55 degree. As according to the law of reflection, the formula will be angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. If an angle of incidence that is angle I is equal to 55 degree. Then angle of reflection, that is angle R, is equal to 55 degree. Angle of incidence and angle of reflection are 55 degree. Both the measure of an angle of incidence and the angle of reflection will be same according to the law of reflection. What angle will the reflected ray make with the mirror if the angle of incidence is 40 degree? Of this sum, you have to refer the figure 16.2. On textbook page number 111, from figure 16.2, angle QON is equal to 90 degree. 
in bracket normal because line ho hen is the normal angle of incidence that is angle hi is given 40 degree angle nob is the angle of reflection angle nob is equal to angle r is equal to 40 degree if an angle of incidence is 40 degree then angle of reflection is also 40 degree according to the law of reflection angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection that is why angle nob is equal to angle of reflection is equal to 40 degree angle nob plus angle qob is equal to angle qon angle nob is 40 degree plus angle qob is equal to angle qon is 90 degree angle qob is the point of incidence you have to find angle qob if you are finding angle qob you have to subtract 90 degree minus 40 degree after subtracting 90 degree minus 40 degree the answer is 50 degree the reflected ray will make an angle with the mirror is the point of incidence final statement you have to write the reflected ray will make an angle of 50 degree with the mirror if you understood class 8th science example sums on textbook page number 114 give us the feedback or comments subscribe the channel like and share thank you